All right, before I start this episode, I'm gonna go to the shopkeeper, like right now, and I'm gonna buy the joint plug and the Super Bowl. Why? Because I forgot to do that in our last video. And just to recap, in the last video, we beat Tron. Uh, we beat Braun too. We put him in the freaking level. Poor guy. Um, but yeah, so now we're on our way to go get the fourth key. But before we do that, we're gonna do some side missions, I guess. It's gonna be interesting. Alright, so I skipped ahead to roll so y'all can see me make an adapter plug from the joint plug which allows us to have three components on our buster and the super ball makes a reflector arm. And that's all interesting, so let's keep going to the next stuff. Alright, so one of the side missions or side quests you can do over here, if we go talk to this guy, oh my god he's shaking, are you okay? He's like, thank you for preserving our statue. How could the pirates be so desperate as to want to damage that? Like, you fight good. Like, it reminds me of my old days. I wish I was out there. Believe it or not, back in my day, I was a racer. Spent every day in the track. Say, would you be interested in the race? So, in these races, we have to beat his time so he can give us some money. That's all there is to it. Let's read the rules. Your goal is to complete one circuit of the course within the time limit. If you get the hourglass, the clock stops for two seconds. If you win money, depending on how good you do, you have 35 seconds to beat it. Will you be able to re beat the world record of Mad Mosa? Alright, so Mad Mosa is the old guy. We have to beat his time. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. But this part right here. This that I'm voicing over. This is not live. Why? I spent like two hours and a half. Yes, two hours and a half trying to beat his records. And oh my god. It's trickier than it looks now. This one. Oh my god. The Mando course is the easiest one you can do. It, I think I beat it in my second try, so it was pretty easy. I mean, damn. It wasn't that bad. So as you can see, just they have a map on the top left corner. And the bottom right is the speed of which you're going. Now, my time for this course was 2560. And I was ranked first. So let me put my initials. Hold on. Let me put my initials because I did amazing. I beat it in the second try. But yeah, I mean, this one wasn't that complicated. It was the next two courses that really gave me trouble. This is the Kalinka course, which is where we're gonna go for the fourth key. So snow everywhere, you guys. Happy days. As you can see, uh, so I spent like two hours and a half trying to beat these things, and I was like, I'm gonna get first place, guys. I'm very competitive, and I was like trying. All right, what if I do this? What if I do this? I think the worst part is that if you bump into stuff, it really reduces your speed, and you want to go as fast as you can, cause apparently that old guy, the Mad Mosa. He, he, he can run, you guys. I mean, I'm using jet skates, um, so I don't know if that counts as cheating or not, but uh, that other guy was running. But it doesn't matter. I just told him I beat your course. Anyway, this is probably one of the trickier ones. Get the freaking hourglass up top of the tree. Oh my god, that took forever to do. I think I spent more time in this one than I did it in the other two, but it was worth it. We get first place, and let me put my initials, L, and we're going down. M, because I'm amazing, and A. Alright, so let's go to the last course. Oh, wait. Look at my time. I beat him by 10 hundredths of a second. Jesus Christ. It was nasty. Alright, now we go to the next one. Saul Kata Circus. You remember Saul Kata is where we're at currently in desert heat. Oh my god. I think Mega Man's gonna go freaking um, pass out because it's too damn hot to be running around in the sun. And he's been running for about two hours now. Anyways, Shortcut here, as you can see the red things on the ground will slow you down, which really really sucks, but there's nothing else to it. We use these rocks to propel ourselves in the sky, and hopefully we can do this. Look at that. Tricks. Tricks and hacks, you guys. There's certain areas on, on each course what causes Mega Man to launch himself in the air, and you're actually going to have to use those, especially when they you put the hourglasses in the air, like for example this one. So there's to it jump that and we're so close this part right here took forever to perfect oh my goodness ah it was worth it though Doo -doo -doo -doo. i've been ranked first finally after two hours and a half i finished it's oh my god i can't spell my own damn initials <laughs> Alrighty, let me just show you the ranking so you can see in the manda course i beat the guy by almost 3500 of a second in the Kalinka course or circuit, um, let's see how much I beat him by. Beat him by tenths 
of a second. Look at my third place. He beat me by six. Oh my goodness. And finally, the Sawa Kata circuit. Uh, let's look at the rankings. I actually beat him by a lot on this one, so woo! Suck it, Mr. Mosa. Mad Mosa. He's actually a pretty good runner. Alright, so we're back live now that I finished editing that freaking course stuff. But, um, alright, so let's continue on with the story, you guys. Alright, so here's the large statue. As you can see, we preserved it. Thank goodness. I'm amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright, we're gonna go talk to Ro so we can, um, upgrade our stuff before we go to where we need to go. Alright, so we're over here with Ro. We're gonna improve our homing missile. We're gonna improve the range. And I think I can improve the rapid. I think I have enough money. How much is it? Lord have mercy, it's 90,000. I should I have enough, but... Lord, Lord, Lord. Alright. Do I want to improve this? No, I don't have enough money, bro. Crazy. Alright. So we've almost maxed it out. We have to max out attack and energy. Let me see. Get out of here, Data. No one wants to talk to you. Alright, let's go <laughs> to Kalinka Island. Or Kalinka City, whatever it's called. Because we need to go save the city from the damn pirates. Alright, so we're back at Yosko Village. Village, whatever it's called. I'll just call it Kalinka. Why? Because it messes me up. Alright, so we're going to go talk to Joe. I mean, you guys remember who Joe is? He came out like in the first two, three episodes. Uh, of the let's play so right now he's in the he's in the freaking hotel thing he's resting why because he recovering from his injuries all right so let's talk to the freaking keeper guy Ooh, let's talk to maria first he worked so hard to build that work day and night and he collapsed said he wanted to protect the city from the pirates all right joe i knew that you would come i don't know but i just knew i need to ask you to do something you know there's a train at this station here I modified that to help fight off the pirates but I'm in no shape to use it that means it's up to you here that's the key to the train all right so he gives us a train key so we're gonna go test out the damn train he's like use it use it to protect our city dot 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 I was dreaming this morning I was with my family and we were laughing happily I missed them have you guys remembered supposedly uh, Joe suffers from amnesia, so he hopefully he was remembering his actual family. Oh, Maria says, I have a few errands to run. I'll be back soon. Oh, damn, Maria. Hustle, hustle, hustle. And let's go to the train. Oh, wait. Nope, never mind. We're going to go see Joe. What are you doing, Joe? What are you holding? Ten years ago, we tried to land on Forbidden Island, and now you're trying to succeed where we failed. He can do it. You can trust him. He's the one role. Oh my god. What the heck are you talking about, Joe? Oh! What is this nonsense I see? So as you can see, he's holding a picture of Ro when he, she's a baby and his wife. So if you haven't guessed it by now, um, Joe is Ro's father. But he got amnesia whenever they landed in Forbidden Island. So he doesn't remember anything until now. Question is, will he ever tell her? Let's go talk to Ro. Like, what is it, Mega Man? And I'm like, Joe gave us the damn key to use the damn train. He's like, I knew it was something Joe made. With this, we should be able to take care of the pirates before they get to the town. What should we do, Mega Man? You know what? Let's go. Let's go take care of those pirates. Hopefully, once and for all. Because they're getting on my damn nerves. Oh, look at that train they built. As you can see, the first half is made from the bonds. And the is second half... Gun fixed yet? Looks like it was made by Clay. Even hit the target. Shooting it once destroys the barrel. What kind of cannon is this supposed to be anyway? I told you it's still under development, but oh no, you just got to fire it, don't you? You not only knocked out the gun, you disabled the main reactor as well. Anyway, it's fixed now, so let's get a move on, shall we? At this rate, it'll be nightfall before we get to the city. I like how they don't even give space for Claymore Can't to they get take in there. Anything seriously? They never take anything seriously. Hey, Clay, your problem is you're too serious, mm -hmm. you know? Yes, agreed. And to old. Besides, too. aren't you a little ashamed of yourself? I mean, a big fella like yourself getting trashed by that kid. You're getting old, man. You got trashed too, man. Stop I talking. Circus. <laughs> I'm out of here. Hey, wait, Bola, wait. These fools can't do anything right anyway. 
I guess it's high time I was getting out of here, too. Mm-hmm. About time. Hey, Diesel! You heard, Paula? You can do the rest of it yourselves. See you around! Hey, hey, wait! Hey, Claymore! Who cares? Let him go. That leaves more for us. What? What? Come on, Teasel. Stop your whining and start acting like a man. Oh, damn. Why do I put up with that wimp? Who does he think he is, anyway, talking to me like that? Oh, this is what happens when you don't have any money. We have to scrounge for parts to build our machines. We have to ally ourselves with people like that. We'll oh, never win damn, like folks. this. Thank you for being part of Surprise, mother. Comes. Never we mind. We can start moving any time. Cookie. Please do try to keep up, Teasel. I'll make you eat those words, Clyde. All right, boys. I don't want to see any slacking. Let's move out. Gamancha. Full speed ahead. Uh, Gamancha. So Gamancha is the name of the train, and we're going to have to take it out. Why? Because we're going to try to attack the city. Right, defeat the pirate train, attack the pirate train while dodging their attacks. Be careful, the train takes so much damage. It's game over. Alright, so before we start, let me equip my damn helmet. You know I hate the helmet, but damn, is it necessary to dodge. Oh my god. So, right here, the trick to doing this, aim for the third one the farthest to the right. And... Keep at it, Mega Man. I can't reach right now, but there. I finally reached, and the any bomb... Damn, bro. Interrupting me. Uh, so I'll be able to damage each one. As you can see, I finally destroyed the cannon at the right. We're going to destroy the cannon at the middle. Ow. And now we're destroying the cannon at the left. So their train is actually constructed, I think, into like three or four parts. So right now we're taking the part at the bottom. Or at the back. And you know. Alright, so we took this. Now we're going to destroy the guns at Can't the top of the right. glide thing now one really cool Stop. thing is we actually can't fall from our own train they actually have invisible Why walls thank you bro i saw the damn gun because it's aiming at me now they have a freaking laser which i thought it was really cool the first time i played it we just have to dodge it what rolling through it so i think that's a glitch or something i don't know but if you don't roll, it's actually gonna hit you. So this part of the train of the Comancha is about to go down, you guys. Just keep dodging. Look at those no dodging skills. I'm freaking awesome, you guys. All right, so it's almost done. A few more shots. The freaking homing missile curves, depending on the speed of the train, you know? But anyways, we beat that half. Let's see what happens. I am sorry, Glide. I don't have any choice. What are you babbling about now? Wait, you're not. We won't forget you. Glide, good luck. Farewell. <laughs> See you around. Tron, do it. Releasing Glide's car. Damn, man. Ain't no friendship what between pirates. What do you think you're doing? I'll get you for this, Teasel! <laughs> Sayonara, Glide! I love his laugh. Okay, that takes care of Mr. Glide. It's so evil. Now, we have to fall back and regroup. Full steam ahead, Bond. Babu! I thought I killed that guy, Babu. Oh my god, he's still alive. I'm telling you, he, he's like a cat. He has like nine lives. Incoming right. missile! So, they're gonna throw us some missiles, so we're gonna need a lifter for this part. Damn, bro, well, you actually know. Alright, my aim is a little crappy, so don't laugh, you guys, if I miss the damn train, okay? Oh my god, is it hitting? Nope, I still missed it. Oh my goodness. So, as you can see, since both the trains are moving, um, the rock sh rockets actually, or missiles, my bad, uh, they'll be curving, they'll be moving. So,. Um, there's certain missiles that I can actually catch, but when they're at an angle, it makes it very difficult for Mega Man to actually grab them with the lifter. So I'll knock those down, as you can see right now, knocking them down. I'll just wait. I have patience. I'll just wait until this one directly. See? Alright, let, let me try to aim it again. I'm gonna have to aim it around here. Oh, I don't know. That might hit to the left of it. I don't know if it might actually hit. 
Did it hit it? Oh man, it didn't hit. So what I'm actually aiming for is that black rectangle in the in the back, I guess the caboose or whatever it's called. Ooh, that one looks like it's gonna hit. Oh yep, yeah. it hit it perfectly. As you can see, that actually damages the train. So I forgot how many times I actually have to hit it. But yeah, that's all we have to do. That's all we gotta do. Oh, hold on. Oh, I can't actually catch that. Nice. Oh, so as I was saying before with Joe. Um, so yeah, Joe is actually Roll's father, but since he lost his memory, he doesn't remember until now. So I'm actually pretty excited. I was like, this guy. Whenever I saw the photo the first time, I was like, man, this guy looks a lot like the Roll's dad. Maybe they're twins. I actually thought they were maybe like brothers or something. But no, he's actually the father. But he actually remembers now. I wonder if it over tell Ro. You know, that'd be that'd be nice. You have a little father and daughter moment. Be like, Papa, I thought you were dead. And he'd be like, Nope, I was here all along. And plus, see, now we can tell where um, Ro got her mechanic skills from. You can tell Joe. He's a mechanic. I wonder what the mom was like. Was she a mechanic too, or she was probably the spotter? You know what I mean? So, the dad was a mechanic, and then the mom had to be spotting the dad, so she became a spotter too. Damn. But anyways, that takes care of that, and look at me. We're almost there, we're almost to half the train. Look at that guy's dead body on the damn ground. Alright, so we did enough damage that they're actually switching tactics now. Oh my goodness gracious. So they're gonna shoot these freaking uh, energy blasts. All right, we're gonna need our freaking homing missile again. I got it. As you can see, it actually damages our own um, train. The bottom red bar is the train uh, that we're on right now, and the top right red bar is the health bar of their train. And as you can see, actually, I only do damage when I aim at the surf box, but if I don't shoot up there, the freaking uh, freaking thing won't um, it will kill me. Let's you have to be aiming down and up, and of course dodging the freaking uh, pirate bombs that the little sword bots are shooting. Oh my goodness! Come here, little sword bots! God gracious! But yeah, I actually thought it was interesting whenever they made this battle uh, between the trains. I'm like, hey, you know what? Something different. I like that. Especially since we've been playing this game for what, maybe a few hours now? Like eight. And uh, most of the battle scenes that we've done has been in the ruins, fighting some bosses, key bosses. But it's nice to do something outside of the ruins, something in the fresh air. It's hopefully, definitely, that doesn't involve water. Why? Because that water temple thing, it always gets me. I, I hate it. Why? Because it makes me feel so slow. I don't like it. Anyways, we're gonna be doing some more damage here in the middle. And that should take care of that. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot that I don't do any damage unless I'm aiming at the middle. Why am I so crazy, guys? I have no idea. Alright, I was drinking water. Because... My throat is getting a little dry. Anyways, let's keep doing some damage at the middle of the freaking caboose thingy. I don't know if that actually connected or not. Oh my god, they're still throwing bombs at me. But anyways, it's almost dead. There we go. We finally destroyed the middle part of the train. And... So that's what he actually looks like. It's just the head. Uh, it's... Babu is just the head, and you can see the green part, it's not actually part of him, it's part of the train, but he's actually moving it, so, that's pretty cool. I'm sorry, Babu, I'm gonna have to take you out again, twice, three times you count the original Mega Man Legend, which, he was our first boss, he was actually pretty cool, I like fighting him, or he was our second boss, actually, anyways, he's gone, they're all gone, rest in peace, pirates. You little blue twerp! You haven't heard the last from us! I'll get you if it's the last thing I... Boom. 
<laughs> All right, that takes care of that. Mission complete. That takes care of that. <laughs> Now all we have to do is go back to the church and get the last key. Come on, Mega Man, let's go. Man, freaking Rope doesn't have no remorse. She's like, I hope they're okay or something. Nope, she's like, yes, we got them. Let's go t to get the fourth key. All right, she says, I'm going back to the Flutter, Mega Man. You can go on ahead to the gallery if you want. Don't tell me what to do, Rope. All right, so before we go to get... To the gallery um we're gonna go over here where it's where the train you know where we took the train to go fight uh the bonds why because there's actually a secret chest over here that if you get it you find the spike chip now the spike chip it actually makes a different type of shoes what kind of shoes i'll tell you when we go with roll so we can develop what it is. Is there anything over here? Uh, memory serves me right? I don't think so. I think it just connects to some other ruins over there on the left. But we've already been there, so we don't have to go there no more. Alright, let's make our way back to the flutter so we can see what the spike chip is going to give us. Now, the spike chip... One of the reasons why we wanted to get it, uh, it's very useful for the upcoming um, freaking key ruin thing. I remember the first time, or and even the second time, I didn't know that chip existed um, until one day I was just exploring randomly. After I had beaten the game, I'm like, okay, well, what's there to explore? And I explored it and there was the damn chip. And I'm like, I wish I had this chip for that battle. Makes it so easy. Alright, so with the spike chip, we make cleated shoes now we'll go see the cleated shoes probably in the next episode of the let's play mega man legends 2 it's your host mega sword signing off and thanks for watching every single day you guys see you next time